guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. This is $320 at HEB. It's not that much food. It really isn't. We did a little stock up on a few different items. I went ahead and used my grocery budget, my household, and my miscellaneous budget to cover this haul because it was more than I was expecting it to be. But what I decided, because we have completely depleted our freezer outside, we've depleted a good portion of our fridge and freezer inside, and even my couponing shelf has been pretty bare lately. So what I decided is I'm going to pick a couple of things every single time we go grocery shopping, and I'm going to stock up on them. So this time you'll see the things that I stocked up on and when I mean stock up I mean buy like a dozen at a time <laughs> or if it's a meat product I told on the rest like if we're doing um I don't know we did shrimp this time for instance we're only going to have one shrimp meal over the next two weeks but I bought three more just to stock up for next time so I spent about fifty dollars of my budget in stock up things so if you're interested in a 320 bi-weekly HEB haul Let's get started. Okay, so we were not stocking up on chips, but they were on sale for 75 cents off, which is a really great deal and much cheaper for me to get these bags than to get the individual bags and then just portion these out into for lunches and things like that into Ziploc bags. So I got jalapeno, Mexican street corn, two of the nacho cheese, a ranch, chile limon, and then I also got the regular bakery salt, sea salt tortilla chips for nachos one night i have a bunch of ground beef that we bought last time we went grocery shopping and so we're doing taco or um nachos one night for dinner and the rest is with me so you know that always means his favorite <laughs> he likes the dynamite doritos so he got three bags of those we got a little treat we've never bought chamoy like this before and it was only four dollars for this big old bottle so we bought the chamoy fruta and then we got some stuff to go with it so this is part of the things that i stocked up on I've never tried really like this pasta sauce like this. I think I got a couple when COVID first hit and it tasted fine. I mean, it's 24 ounces, just like the jar things, and it was only 92 cents. I don't know if that means there's something wrong with it or not, but as you can see, I got 12 of them, various flavors. I have tomato basil, garlic and herb, four cheese, traditional and I think meat sauces in the back so just a wide variety and I got 12 of them because we're always using pasta sauce for various reasons um, and then I got some pizza stuff too so this is this will be good on that you guys know the classico alfredo sauce is our favorite I usually buy two to four at a time we use two per meal so I said you know what I'm just gonna stock up so I bought a whole case of them again various flavors I have four cheese roasted garlic and then I think I have regular somewhere in here um, but yeah they're two bucks a bottle maybe a little over two because I think with inflation they used to be two maybe they're like 212 or 220 now but I got 12 of them so we will have two for a meal this next week or four for two meals and then I will have more for the following time so that's going to be the plan is to just pick a couple of items and stock up. The Cacique Pork Chorizo was back on sale for $0.99 cents a tube, so I went ahead and bought five of them, which is what I used to purchase before, but then they went up to one twelve a tube, and I was like, well, I'll just get a couple at a time, but $0.99, cents, definitely worth it to stock up, so I got that. Some roasted red pepper hummus. Also, you'll notice that I have the groceries kind of spread out like this because we replaced our sink. Super exciting, but all of our stuff is all over the place over here. So I had to kind of move it to our brand new table, which is also fairly new. The girls are waiting to help me put away. Um, but roasted red pepper hummus, some salsa for Andres, these mean green sour apple, apple belts, makes my mouth water thinking about it, pineapple chunks, two things of shells and cheese, uh, well, one shells and one regular macaroni. Some uh, Cool Whip for the girls, they love that with their fruit. And then we got this mango chamoy sherbet and watermelon sherbet to go with the chamoy. And we have tahini already, it's gonna be so good. We needed some more syrup, so I got the sugar free. And then hot and spicy Cheez Its. We had bought goldfish last time, so I try and alternate goldfish and Cheez Its. And then, dun dun dun. Brand new table, kind of looks like our other one, but it's a dark wood stained. Um, we can put a large leaf in it. And these are our new chairs. Nice and sturdy, neutral color. 
It was a pretty good deal. We like it a lot. So we ended up getting eight chairs because when the leaf goes in it, it can seat eight people so that we can fit more people for holidays. So now here are my groceries <laughs> on it. As you can see, like I said, not a ton of food because everything is just so much more expensive. A gallon of milk, which I got two of them. The gallons of milk were almost $4 a gallon. How much is it where you guys live? $4 a gallon. It was like two twenty-eight dollars back before the price increases and everything. That's a significant increase. I mean, just for two gallons of milk, I'm automatically paying three bucks more. And that's not just that. It's the eggs. It's all the produce, everything. It, it's just kind of crazy. So let's see. I'll start over here. So shrimp, these, same thing with these shrimp bags. It's not even a lot. It's 12 ounces of shrimp and they're tiny and they're not like the best quality shrimp. And they were five, almost $6. And they were, it used to be $5. So they increased, but I got four of them. We can get away with one per meal. Sometimes we use two. It just depends on how many people we're trying to feed. So I bought one for one meal those next two weeks. And then I bought three to stock up the freezer. Because if I try and stock up my huge freezer outside, I'm going to be spending probably $1,000 just to stock it up. So I'm trying to stock it up slowly. Some bread, the girls like this extra thin bread, so I bought one for now, one for later. And then I got this for sandwiches too, the bakery French bread. This is still only a dollar, even sliced, which is pretty good. And then the breakfast bread, so I got this for the girls, the French toast and apple cinnamon. It was buy this and get the English muffins for free, which is awesome because we use English muffins all the time. So I got those for free, which was cool. The cheese was a good deal because I would have bought one pack normally and it was buy the cheese, get the eggs for free. So eggs is like another thing. My five dozen pack I used to get away with about $5. It's now like 12 bucks, which is crazy to me. So the cheese I would have purchased anyway, but even the cheese used to be $6.99 for the two pound bag and it was $8.49. So again, $1.50 doesn't seem like a lot, but this is six extra bucks right here than I would have paid a few months ago, you know? So I got one for the fridge, one for the freezer, mozzarella and Colby Jack. It's usually how I do it at Costco. And then the fact that I got the eggs for free were really cool. Um, some tostada shells for a taco night. Chicken, same thing. I could not find chicken for cheaper than about $3.50 a pound, and they were tenderloins, and I really don't care for tenderloins. I just feel like you don't get a lot of meat, and you have to pick the tendon out of it. They're just tedious for the price. I could not find my normal cheap chicken breast, so I was not paying. The next price up was $4.50 to $5.50 for a chicken breast per pound. This was $10 for a five pound. Yes, they're frozen. Yes, they come with water and like all these things. And so probably not the best for you, but I just could not break down and pay the $5.50 for, per pound for chicken breast. And it wasn't even like organic, you know, good chicken. It was just like the plain chicken breast. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Not when I'm used to paying $1.99 a pound. $2.50, okay. Three bucks is like my absolute max, but $5.50 is just a little crazy. So I got the five pound um, boneless, skinless, frozen chicken breast. I got two things of pizza crust, which again, pizza is fairly cheap for us to just buy. It's like eight bucks for a hot and ready at Little Caesars, but I figured this would be a little twist on that. I, these were like $3 for two, and the two would feed us for one meal. So I got the original, and then the thin and crispy. I had plenty of sauce. I have lots of uh, pepperoni that I purchased that I pulled out of the freezer. And then I have a lot of cheese. So we'll have pizza one night for dinner. Um, I got some baby spring mix. Like I said, I got the English muffins for free. We got regular flour tortillas, the bakery kind some feta. I much prefer to buy this. This container on sale, it was a dollar coupon, was still $6. I can get it for like $6.99, double this at Sam's, but I didn't want to go to Sam's. So I got some orange juice. Like I said, the two milks, a big thing of regular cut fries. We are having Easter celebration, our Easter celebration tomorrow, and we're doing hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken. So I figure we'll have hamburgers and hot dogs left over, probably chicken too. And um, fries will go great with that this week. 
four meals. I have pineapple chicken, crustless chicken pot pie, meatball marinara, and chicken fried rice. Just like healthy choice or lean cuisine. I don't really care. That's, I mean, honestly, those are like three something each. And I always have to have a little side with it. So it's kind of an expensive lunch. It would be cheaper just to buy McDonald's. But, you know, when I'm in a pinch, I like to have it. So I got four of those for this next week. Um, some crackers for the girls. They like to take these for snacks. And you guys, I purchased all that stock up stuff the last time I was at HEB and it's almost all gone. I mean, you would not believe how quickly we go through stuff around here. It's crazy. The next stock up thing that I had was Top Ramen. We love Top Ramen in the house. The girls sometimes take it for lunch. So it's nice to have and it's cheap. Not great for you, but cheap. So I got the beef flavor, shrimp flavor, and then Andres got the cup of noodles, the shrimp flavor. Um, so we stocked up on that. I ended up with the four, and these are cage-free large white eggs, four dozen of those for free for purchasing the cheese, some romaine hearts. They were out of the big bag that I normally buy, so this will get us like maybe two meals of salad, but I have the mixed greens too. A bag of apples for the girls, Gala, Honey Crisp. The girls can have these too. They're just significantly bigger, so we usually share them bag of coleslaw mix it ended up being like 75 cents so it's better than having the whole coleslaw a bag of uh oranges these things too were seven dollars i mean just like insane um i got two grapefruits because they were 50 percent off a uh, bunch of bananas i got red grapes which actually weren't too bad i think those were a dollar fifty a pound Four cucumbers, we're going to cut those up and have them for snack. One bag of mini carrots, two sweet potatoes, two things of the green grapes because I feel like everybody likes those a little bit more and they go so quick. Watermelon, again, watermelon in the summertime we can usually get for $4.98, sometimes $5.50. This sucker was $7. Seven, which is still good. It's still like a good fruit for us to have, but the price increase, you guys, is just so crazy. I'm so curious to know what kind of price increases you guys are seeing around your area. So leave me a comment in the comment section about where you live and what's the biggest thing you've seen a price increase in on your groceries. Um, a big thing of waffles, the girls like those for a quick breakfast, and then three pounds of strawberries. I was going to get my usual like blueberries, raspberries, all that kind of stuff, but they it just wasn't wasn't a good deal the strawberries were 250 a pound which again will not last us very long but they're there so yeah not the best haul you guys really for 320 dollars wasn't the best haul but i did get to stock up on some stuff and so like i said i'm going to try and build up my stockpile of food in my freezer and in my pantry little by little by picking a few things over the next few hauls and just concentrating on getting those things stocked up. So there you have it, $320 at HEB. I hope you guys enjoyed. The big girls are about to help me put this away. Y'all ready? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.